Hi, I'm Gordon Wright from Mason Technology, and today I want to go through with you the options for polarization on the Olympus microscope, typically used for clinical applications. First of all, I want to go through simple polarization, and there's two components that we need to use for this. The first one is the polarizer. So the polarizer sits onto the light source, and it sits on like so, and this can be rotated. Typically, we orientate it with the white dot, which points to the front. The second item is the analyzer, and the analyzer sits into the nose piece. So what we can see here on screen now is we can see a sample that we have focused quite clearly. And if we rotate our polarizer, you can see it goes completely black. And this is because we've cross-polarized. In this situation, when it is black, it means we've no crystals in the optical field of view. However, if we then see anything being colored or we see anything being transmitted, we now know there is a crystal form in there. And this is typically used for amyloids. If we move over to the other side of the slide, which we've done because we know this is a negative sample, we can show quite clearly we have some crystals here displaying and we can see these clearly being displayed now in that polarized, cross-polarized form. So the other option now, if I go back to the tissue sample, is to remove the analyzer. And this is the alternative way that we'd use a polarizer for clinical applications. So this is a UGAN, and this includes a tint plate. And this particular unit is used for specifically for gout analysis. So again, this goes into the analyzer slot. The process is the same. We focus on the sample. We cross-polarize the polarizer and analyzer, which is in here. And then we would move the orientation of the analyzer in relation to the crystals to confirm a gout analysis. If you would like to see any other videos, please look at our website or maybe review some posts on LinkedIn.